Hello guys, hello once again. It's a brand new day with new content. Guys, today is a special day because I'm going to answer most of the common asked questions by everyone here on this YouTube channel. So before I do anything else, just hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't and welcome back for my subscribers. You're my family you now. So what are the most common asked questions in changing employer in Qatar or in getting new jobs in Qatar so the first question is why is the online uh, application process still not available on the website right now what's going on is the system is being maintained like they need to update some things in the system to make to make it like more perfect because before the yes the online website was working people could apply jobs people could process the exit permits not really the exit permit but notifications for the employers and uh, even downloading your original contract from there at least a website instead of going to your company because most of the companies are not giving employees their contracts like it's a long process so um as you all know websites uh, tend to fail sometimes and they need maintenance. So the Minister of Labor has decided to do it for once and for all to update all the systems to ensure that once you do your applications, everything will be running smoothly. Number two is um, there is a discussion that was held by the Minister of Labor and the Council and they are planning to start a new online systematic way where employees employees can complain against their employers their sponsors who tend to violate the qatar labor law whether it is by their salaries by the working hours by not, not giving insurance and all these things that employees should be given according to the Qatar labor law. In case there is any an employer or sponsor who is violating the labor law, mistreating you, that's where you'll be reporting directly on on Adlisa. So that's it will be it will start working on twenty fourth this this month. That's next week, yeah. So yeah. The other question is about the EC number. People are getting only the OTP, but they're not getting the second message. This has been happening for the last one and a half months. People are applying for the change of employer. Then what happens is they don't receive the second message that shows you have successfully received or submitted your application for change of employer. Basically, when you're receiving the OTP, that's all for now, not like before. So you receive the OTP, but during submission of the documents, whoever is applying for you will receive the EC number. So the EC number will just pop down there after it says your application has been submitted successfully and your EC number will be attached somewhere. That's the most important number you need to, to keep when you are going to do the follow-up. So this leads us to the next big question, which is follow-up. So many people are trying to inquire which is the best place or which is the best platform or location I should go to make my follow-up since I've been waiting for so long to be approved and nothing is happening. So, reason number one, people who haven't received their uh, approvals is maybe your company is running short of staff and the ministry of at least considers that. So it cannot approve you to move to the next company if your company is having less stuff that's number one number two is you did not attach all the documents that were required number three uh, now let's go straight to the follow-up when you are going to make a follow-up we have uh three famous locations in qatar sanaya um, seat center and alcor so far so good alcor has been doing a very good job in terms of approving cancellations and even people are trying to process another cases on at least they have been doing so good so far so the first priority of people who will be approved or will be assisted almost immediately in uh, alcohol branch that's the most favorite right now 
are the people who are doing cancellations of the applications. If you are doing your cancellation, it can be done in two to three, four hours and you will get it. Number two, people are getting approved are people with the NOC. If you have an NOC and you need uh, to follow up on your application, once you show up your NOC, probably it will take the least or minimum time possible for you to get approved. Reason being, an NOC is a no objection certificate. It means your current company is willing to let you go and join whichever company of your choice. So, uh, then the other people who are doing follow-ups, they're asking, uh, where can I go to make follow-up? Of course, I've always preferred to go to Alcor because not so much people go to Alcor branch. It's far away, so it doesn't get a huge number like these other branches, okay? Then, once you land there, uh, mostly don't expect to go inside. Though you can get an opportunity to go inside, but uh, what normally happens is the security and the other guys who work in the ministry are divided to pick up your um, documents, depending on what you want to do. If you are doing follow-up, there is a security guy or person who is assigned to take all those people who are following up, those who are cancelling, and then they will submit them and the process will be done inside. As you know, Corona has hit everywhere. So always keep social distance and that's why they are trying to limit the number of people going inside the Ministry of Labor offices. Uh, the next question is, my company has refused to allow me or has refused to sign my resignation letter. What shall I do? Apply without the signature. That has been a very important question because of course we know this company is men, they don't want to let us go. So just apply with a resignation letter that has no signature. But most importantly, send them a resignation letter on email so that in case in the future when you are approved they want to complain anything against you, you'll be having the evidence that you had send them uh, an official email of resignation to their official email num email uh, accounts so another one is um, someone was asking me what if um, my employer doesn't want to give me my passport number one call 16008 and report that one because all of us are entitled to be having our passports and keep them wherever you want to keep them. If you want to allow your sponsor or your employer to keep their passport for you, you are the one to allow it, not for them to decide on what to do. If you want your passport right now, you just mentioned, I need my passport, and they should not question you why or what or whatever. They should just give it to you immediately. Okay. Um, and then we had people who were asking me, uh, what if I have an existing contract and I exited the country but the contract is still on? So there are people who prefer to exit so that they get new visas coming back to Qatar uh, to work because the company cannot give them NOC so they prefer to exit then they come back. Unfortunately, some companies once you exit they don't cancel your contract if your visa was still valid, they leave it active. So once it's active, the new company cannot be able to process a new visa for you unless it's cancelled. So my advice could be get a new passport. Though, disclaimer, um, yeah, it's not a good idea, but that's the only option that you'll be having at that time. And we have people who are called runaway. Those people who stay in their workplaces mostly are those people, domestic workers who work at homes. They have been running away from their sponsors because maybe they are mistreated or they had issues with their sponsors. So you run away, you work, but they, there comes a time that you no longer want to run away. You want to go back home to your country uh, because your visa is maybe done or something. So. For you to get your passport, it's either you face your employer directly, but if you had anything that had happened between you and your employer, then the only option you would be having here to avoid situations is to go to your embassy and try out they can process for you 
uh, official documents that will let you fly back home to your country. That's it for today, guys. It's your boy Vic Cizo. I've been here all through. And see you on my next video. Like, share, comment down below whatever you want me to share on the next one. And those questions that I've not answered, probably because I've answered them in previous uh, videos. So I don't want to repeat myself continuously. See you and peace out. Subscribe.